Hi, Carissa here. I'm going to attempt to do a brief tutorial on my must-have travel accessories. I'll probably do one that goes more into in-depth on bags, but for now I'll just cover it briefly. Um, whether you like a rollerboard, whether you want a backpack, I'll talk about the two that I use. Um, when I use a rollerboard, my preferred brand is Samsonite. I like it to have this hard outer cover because you can fit more in without the ballooning out. In fact, I actually have my stitches, you can't see it, I have my stitches popping out from continually overpacking it, so I haven't been using this one as much. Um, when I'm traveling in Europe, I don't like a rollerboard because they're cobblestone, it makes all this noise. Um, if you're going up and down escalators, you've got to carry it with just your arm, and um, it just it's very heavy just carrying all of that um, up and down. I just find them annoying. You're going to have to check it more often than not when you're going through the airport. Backpacks, I rarely, even if I'm in the absolute last group, get asked to um, gate check my bag. Um, my preferred backpack, I like Osprey as a brand. I know there are others great ones out there. It's a Porter 30. Um, it can fit an insane amount. It might not look like that much space, but it really can fit an insane amount. I like Osprey because they have technology that helps distribute the weight from um, your shoulders to your hips. And even when I find, this is called the waist strap. And if you put this on, um, it for sure helps distribute it. But even without that, I find that it does help distribute it so I'm not feeling all of the strain in my shoulders as I'm traveling. They're also incredibly durable. They're also, they're more expensive. Um, but I can't tell you how durable this is. It's <laughs> insanely durable. Um, and they have features like a little plastic tip on the zipper so that you can lock it to another zipper. And somebody can't cut it if you're doing some hostile Staying. I'll do another ode to my Osprey backpack in another video, but um, just going quickly through some of the other travel accessories. Um, finding a good purse is really important because nothing will ruin a vacation more quickly than being pickpocketed. I have a small version and two large versions of this purse. It's a fossil purse and I love fossil. Um, it's obviously leather, so there's a couple of things that are important when you're picking a purse. Um, fun to say. Um, crossbody because that way if it's just on your shoulder someone can just swipe it if it's crossbody it's a lot more tricky I like it being leather because sometimes they'll come by and try to snip it this way it's going to be at least more difficult for them to snip through leather than it would be just fabric um, you can see it's a flap top it's not a zip top um, I'm forever leaving my purse unzipped and that all they have to do is reach their hand in and pick out whatever their heart desires um, with this version at least it's more difficult they have to go in and over to get to it um, and then my number one feature that I love on this one is this extra security purse this is actually functional so and I right now like I have cash inside so um, that's not always what I do. I'm not always carrying cash like that, but um, I happen to have it. And really anything you want to keep secure, you can put in here. So when I'm traveling and I need to carry my passport with me, I'll do that. And, um, you know, that would really be difficult. You'd have to unzip it and open it and then go in. And it's just, and it's not easily accessible via the back because I have all my makeup and stuff in here. You couldn't cut it through the bottom um, because that would just be the purse part. So I'll put my wallet in there. When I'm traveling for sure, any extra cash I have, um, essentially anything you really want to keep secure. The other thing that's nice about this fossil one in particular is it is collapsible. Mine's usually so jammed that there's no way on earth it's getting all the way shut, but if you need it to be slimmer, it can be. Um, those are purses. Now going into kind of coming back to packing for a second, you'll hear in a lot of packing videos people talking about packing cubes, and they're true. Packing cubes are amazing for organization. There's an app, they don't actually help with condensing space if you don't get the kind without this feature. Um, that was a lesson learned for me, and now that I've gotten this feature, I never use my other ones again. This magical feature that I'm talking about is it is. Just like a rolling suitcase is compressible, this one is compressible. I've got a zipper here where it's opening and closing the actual packing cube. And then I have an extra zipper that opens and collapses it so that while well, it starts out like this, it looks obviously a lot bigger. And all you do is quickly zip it around. Sometimes you have to tuck in the bit little fabric in between and you can see it's kind of lumpy right now then I'll like smush it down just to it's just closed so you can get it all nice and relatively unbubbly balloonish unbubbly um, they come in different sizes they have like extra large this is a large this is a medium they kind of look the same 
because I'm not showing it very well. But um, I like mostly the large and medium. I really only use the small for maybe rolled t-shirts and um, underwear. Um, medium are good for shirts and large are good for pants and dresses, things that are a little bulkier and a little bigger. Um, if you're traveling abroad, I let obviously an adapter you need of some sort. Um, they're all pretty standard, all about the same. Don't break the bank on it. I like getting ones with USB ports because then you don't have, you're already putting this in a wall. It's already super big and bulky. And then if you have to attach like your iPhone charger in there as well, and then you've got a thing, you've got like a good three inches coming out from the wall. So this way you can charge two things at once and um, you can do it right from your adapter. Another thing that I always want, you always want to stay well hydrated, and I like getting the kind, mine isn't swell, this is just from Target, but they're the kind that are insulated, um, so your cold water stays cold, and that's always nice and enjoyable. Um, you want to document every moment of your journey. I have a video where I go into this in more detail, but um, a mirrorless camera is a must because it's nice and tiny as compared to my mammoth of a DSLR plus it's a lot lighter this one's maybe um, six seven eight pounds this one's less than one um, so for sure for travel like I don't I just don't bring my DSLR with me out because it hurts your neck at the end of the day so very badly um, I going to bathroom stuff now um, I love I'm gonna zip this so I don't spill everything out. I have something called an e-bags, and here's the reason why I love it, is it's nice and super, super slim. So, um, I sat with my packing cube, how it's nice to have it slim like that, and how it's nice with this. It just is easier for packing versus having, I used to have like the ones you get from Target that are kind of a box, and it was really difficult. Um, other than, the, I mean, if it's slim, that's really all you need. I like this one, it's super durable, it has a pocket, this pocket actually has a plastic interior so if you have things like shampoo that might explode um, you can put it in there without worrying about everything else getting wet um, it has a hanging feature oh, just drop something it has a hanging feature that you can do which is always nice um, it has lots of little internal pockets in there and you can kind of decide your method for where you store what the other thing I will swear by forever, you know when you go to the jeweler and you get your jewelry back and it's in this sweet little bag? You can buy those on Amazon, like a million for like three bucks. And it is the best way to keep your jewelry from tangling. Because um, like I don't ever, you know, put it in anything else when it's in here, but it's just one necklace in per bag and it works miracles to not have um, stuff tangle and they have all the all different sizes. So um, I highly, highly recommend that for keeping your necklaces tangle free. Um, going on to the next item, when I like having something, when you're traveling, sometimes you're just, you know, cold or uncomfortable or you want to feel cozy, you've been out and about all day long. Um, I like having something to kind of snuggle up with or something that can warm me if I'm chilly and something. So I recommend getting a nice cozy scarf that can double as a blanket. So, you know, it can easily be super super wintry and lovely and just cozy. Um, or you can use it as a blanket. And then another thing that can be nice um, is you can also use it as a pillow like this. So very versatile, very nice, nice to be cozy. Let's save my favorite for last. Um, this is an essential, but especially if you're going a, traveling for a longer period of time, I had read about it. I used it a couple times, um, but I figured it's worth throwing in there. It's, called, it's like a braided elastic clothesline. And why it's nice and why I did use it is sometimes you run out of socks and underwear. And it has these elastic endings or uh, velcro endings. So you can just need two things. You can wrap it around and you stretch it out so it's like that. And then you can take these little braided pieces and put in maybe socks or underwear or what have you. So if you need to sink wash it and then, um, or regular wash it, like a lot of Europe doesn't have dryers. So um, you maybe are washing it and then it just needs to dry out and you don't have a drying rack. It's a nice option. My favorite. It's called the Turkish bath towel. Looks very deceptively simple. I'm going to show you how tiny it is rolled up to start and then I'll unroll it and show you. Um, that is how tiny it rolls. Like it is minuscule and you're going to see how big it is. Um, you might see it and see, think it's thin and like it doesn't, like it's a sheet. Like it doesn't really absorb. Um, it is more absorbent than my terry cloth towels. It is absolutely phenomenal for being absorbent. It dries insanely fast um, and it's nice and big. It could also double as a blanket. It could also double as a pillow. And I'll just show you how big it is. Like that's huge. 
it's tall. It's touching the floor right now. It's as tall as me. I'm 5'7". Um, it's nice to wrap around. You can bring it to the beach. You can um, really, I can write an infomercial about these towels. I love them. They're a Turkish bath towel. All of my favorite things that I've talked about, I'm going to put in the links below so you can see for yourself, read other people's thoughts and reviews on Amazon, and um, hopefully purchase them for your own travels, and hopefully it goes that much more smoothly. Having the right accessories, it does make a big difference, because if you, you know, you don't have everything at your fingers touched like you do at home, and to have to constantly deal with that is super annoying and it's just really nice to have um to feel comfortable when you're traveling especially for its long period of time so that's all for me i hope that i've answered all your questions if you have any others please feel free to email me um i have my email in the link below or comment below and i will reply so everyone can see the answer and um yeah hopefully that answered it if it didn't um, like I said, anyway, I'm yammering at this point. Um, I will wrap it up there and I hope you have some wonderful travels ahead of you.